Throughout out human histories, large labor force pays off easily when it's free. Similarly, some ants have been enslaving other ants to get things done. This is Curiosity Diary. Instead of finding their own food and caring for their own young, some ants simply make other insects their slaves. To recruit slaves, the slave makers deploy troops that conduct raids on surrounding colonies. Every summer, blood-red ants of the species Formica sanguinea go on a mission to capture slaves. They infiltrate the nest of another ant species, like the peaceful F. fusca, assassinate the queen, and kidnap the pupae to raise as the next generation of slaves. The slave maker female then waits for the pupae to emerge. For ants, like many other creatures, the smells and sights they encounter just after birth are crucial. This is because they teach the baby ants what is home. In this case, the chemical cocktails the newborns encounter cheat them into thinking that the slave maker female is their queen. And therefore, they become attached to her. With an army at her beck and call, the queen goes about her business. She lays her eggs, typically just one or two. The enslaved ants maintain the nest and take care of her brood. When they hatch, the young slave maker daughters have one task, to recruit more slaves. They start by scouting for other ants nests nearby. Rather than attacking straight away, they head home and put together a raiding party. Afterwards, the enslaved hosts head out with the slave maker workers and bring back more slaves. The new slaves may well belong to the same species as the host. If the host nests split up after the initial attack, the slaves may force their own relatives into slavery. The slave makers also sow confusion in the nests they attack by using chemical warfare. Like all social insects, slave maker ants have defores glands, which secrete chemicals that the ants use to communicate. They use the defores gland to manipulate host defenders into attacking each other instead of fighting against the slave maker. At this point, it may sound like slave making is a supremely effective way to live. But there are clearly limits to its effectiveness, because slavery is rare in the ant world. Among the approximately 15,000 known ant species, slave making has been recorded in only 50. Only two of the 21 known subfamilies in ants have slave maker species. Five different subgroups of slave maker ants belong to one relatively small group, the Formicoxinini. Have you observed ant slavery before? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. See you in the next upload.